What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Earl Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. has been very, very, very vocal lately. You know, he did say this as of late. He said that I want to and I might just roll up on the Amir Khan versus Terrence Crawford. Why not? He has the money, so he says. Is that's a fight that or he wants to be best or pound for pound considered the best? Why shouldn't he show up at that fight? And it's good news, though, to see that the guy everyone wants you to fight, you show up at his fight, at his particular fight. Because that shows you're scouting that person. That shows that maybe, just maybe, depending on the outcome, you might crawl and, you know, jump in the ring and, and call out Terrence Bud Crawford. And then we can make the fight made since you've expressed to everybody and the mom that you now want to fight Terrence Bud Crawford. Not Keith Thurman, not Manny Pacquiao, not Sean Porter. And I'm going to tell you what's wrong with those three guys that I just named for him wanting to fight those guys. Those guys on his on, are on the same side of the street he's on. So it's irrelevant for him to chase them when they're already there and then they seem to not want to even get their shit together. You know what I mean? So if they don't want to get their shit together being on the same side of the street, you need to fight the guy that's considered pound for pound the best. If Earl Spence considers himself one of the pound for pound best or if he even wants to be on that platform. See, Earl Spence is like one is regarded as one of the best welterweights now. Not the best pound for pound. See, a lot of people put him up there because of Micah Garcia and things of that nature. I don't give him that. I mean, he beat Micah Garcia, but as far as pound for pound, I don't put him up uh, in the top five. You know what I mean? Now he's a good fighter, but we don't know how good he will be until he makes something impressive happen. Beat Terrence Crawford. You got to make the fight first, right? So that's what I would recommend with that. I think that uh, Earl Spence is tired of the people criticizing him, such as myself, because I will always counterpunch to Earl Spence until he steps up and does something about it to make what he calls himself the boogeyman actually a reality. And he's not doing that for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. He's just not. At the end of the day, <clears throat> if he's talking, let's see him walk. You know what I'm saying? I want to see you walk instead of talk. Right? I want to see you do both. You know, because I love like such things that Ali said, hey, I'm going to beat you in this round or I'm going to take you out. And a lot of people don't believe me, but I'm going to do it. And he did what he said he's going to do. That's powerful. Now, that's all about speaking and believing and receiving. Right. So that's showing an example of true faith, you know, and true confidence in yourself. So this, this does look like good mood and good news. It's promising news because uh, it might make that might make this fight happen. So we'll see if he does show up at Terrence Bud Crawford and Amir Khan's fight. And um, when he does, I'll be there to cover it. You guys tell me what you think about Errol Spence. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace. <laughs>